Okay, this is a hitch that you will probably recognize. This is a sleeve that I use to hook my hitches. I've got two positions here. This bolt right here comes out. This one comes out if you're going to take it plumb down. It depends on whether you're going to take it plumb down or not. All right, this nut here, you can see I, I, I already had these loose so we could make a little better time. This right here, that is, the, that is the, what you see is what really tightens this thing up. I have a bolt that comes in the back of this one with the same setup. That's a long bolt. Yeah, I'll get that in a little. I didn't want this thing to come off, so I put a long three of this. There it is. That's the other part. The, it, these two right here fits inside of that two-inch tubing. That, that shoulder right there does. This here fits the contour of the, of the hitch. All right, this here comes out right here. That is a female thread for the boat. And that is a ball hitch. I take this hitch right here. And put it in. Alright, all of this just goes right back together like you saw me just disassemble it. Not only that, I take this right here. You, you can see how, how the tongue of the trailer is. I can put it up this way. I can put this thing. See, now I get that hitch from down here up to here. On our patent drawings, I think we got three tubes because my hitch on the back of my truck has three tubes. In between the two, three tubes, I can arrange these to any height you could possibly ever need and when you tighten all this back together there is absolutely no slack nowhere. Now now this is this is a changing the height of a hitch in safe fashion. It it beats them high fence bolts that you bolt panel rings on with on front of the tongue, which I've seen them snap and they lose the trailers. I don't think there's any way you can lose these trailers right here. I, I just don't believe it is. But that is that is the way I work this one. And that's the way that my parents are working. And that's the way all my hitches are going to probably work. Right there is the right uh, right there is the sleeve. You can you can look at that and, and and see that is a good sturdy that one ton truck can't hurt it. I'll put this back in here. We'll leave that right there. We'll go back up there, and I, uh, I'll, I'll show you the rest of it. By the way, some of these farm farmers has offset machinery that pulls off to one side. You can put this thing on that way right there and offset it that much. You can offset this hitch for offset machinery. With three of them, you can bring it over that much further. You could also put it with a, you could extend it a couple feet if you needed needed to do that, and and it, and it would still pull their farm equipment real good. Okay, I made mention of how these panel hitches wear out. They're not the only one. They used to, that hitch right there. Someone that ball goes plumb up through. This is a two inch ball in the beginning. There's no way that that hitch will stay together. If if that trailer hits a good dip and it bounces right, that trailer's off of there. It is wore out, and these hitches are out there on the highway. These people have no way of knowing, or they or they don't take time to check it or something. That hitch is wore out, and him still using it. How many times do you reckon 
that someone has put a two and five sixteenth hitch on a two inch ball and never even know he'd done it. He latches up and down the road he goes. We have a lot of trailer runoffs. In fact, we had one here this past week, right out here, about a hundred foot below my house. A trailer come off and, and flipped a Tahoe plumb upside down before the safety chains broke. Okay, this is something shouldn't be there. I, I honestly believe with these hitches, the, the wiring these hitches out and to where they're hazardous is over. I honestly think that these hitches will not have to have a safety chain. I believe they could become chain exempt just as a fifth wheel is because these hitches are safer. The latching mechanism, everything about these hitches are a whole lot safer than any fifth wheel you've ever seen. Okay. This square hitch right here, I use it on the back of this truck. My hookup is a little different. I do not have a hole through here for the pins, although I do have the same system here. But I have a, if, if later in the video, if we take it out, I'll show it to you. There is a plate of a two inch square with that size hole in it that comes up over that. Then there's a bar Two inch bar that goes up through here and it pins on the outside right here, Carla. This pin right here is this one on this hitch. On the back side, you, you put the nut on after you put that on. You don't have a hole through the, that, that destroys no integrity of that hitch. It doesn't weaken in any by doing it like that. This is still the same 5-8 pin that all the two-inch receivers out there are using now. But, again, I have absolutely no slack. Because I can take all the slack out with, with, with this mechanism right here. All right, this is my third and largest hitch. Okay, this hitch here is larger than what you've seen on this video. This mechanism right here comes off by removing this and this bolt on each side. I can take this off and you've got the same hitch that you've been looking at. Okay, but I, as it is right now, I have this cylinder extended. When I extend this cylinder out, it separates these two points, which picks this up. This hitch across here is in bushings right here. I, got, I have Delrin plastic bushings in that plus a grease fitting. These are one and three eighths inch spring steel torsion bars off of Chevrolet two, uh, ton, uh, one ton truck. All right. These bars goes up under the, the differential housing right under the spring caps. 